had uh, conducted um, uh, you know a system study on universities you know uh, using I mean on collaboration with National Universities Commission and um, uh, it's called USSR that is I don't mean Soviet Union <laughs> <laughs> I mean yeah, university system study and uh, review mm -hmm. okay. uh, you know through that uh, uh, system study the commission examined the processes of the you know universities we selected some few universities across uh, the geo uh, geo geopolitical uh, zones and um, we examined their uh, operations generally their processes the admission process and everything um, after doing that we noticed some lapses here and there we you know, under our law, we are empowered to give directives as to what to do to fix, you know, such uh, lapses, which we did. And uh, through that, we were able to identify 63 illegal uh, degree awarding institutions and two NYSC orientation camps in the country. Illegal. Uh, illegal. Yeah, illegal. Mm -hmm. So at the moment, we are prosecuting, you know, the, the proprietor, uh, proprietors of uh, these uh, institutions. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I mean, the uh, review actually uh, uh, has actually done a lot in the development of uh, the educational sector. When you discovered this, what, what assistance or partnership did you get from the NUC? Um, you know, uh, you know. Uh, uh, when I said, uh, well, you know, collaboration with them, you know, they, you know, they know better the, in the system. Mm. So, uh, you know, a committee was formed, headed by one professor Aina, who was uh, a board member. Then, uh, you know, to, uh, you know, uh, to do the study generally. Mm. So we actually got significant uh, assistance from uh, NUC in that respect and up till today whenever there is any uh, issue they uh, get back to us um, we succeeded in, in even making universities to produce manuals uh, you know to uh, you know on, on integrity even the issue of uh, sexual harassment and what have you you know you know because we consider it an abuse of, uh, an abuse of office mm -hmm. yes so no, the, 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 the SCPC yeah. Act mm -hmm. was enacted in 2000. We are in 2018. Yes. This presupposes that uh, 18 years mm -hmm. thereafter, they must, you must have noticed the need maybe for amendments, mm -hmm. for review of certain provisions, mm -hmm. or even deletion of some. Yes. Uh, uh, at what point are you now to ensure maybe amendment of some of the provisions or mm -hmm. to ensure uh the deletion yes uh, thank that you very much yes incidentally yesterday that is the 13th of uh, june oh. was the anniversary of uh, you know you know uh, that act, uh, that act. Okay. yes mm. so exactly um, 18 years, 18 years now. now so this, uh, this edition is like an anniversary it's edition for it interesting I, <laughs> indeed 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 um, um actually uh before i I joined the commission, I met, uh, uh, you know, a process in place, you know, um, and, uh, you know, sometimes in uh, November, we went to the National Assembly, I mean, to, uh, you know, for a public hearing on the act, and all other stakeholders were invited to, uh, you know, uh, partake in the, uh, you know, public hearing, and about uh, two, uh, three weeks ago, the committee, House Committee on Anti-Corruption, mm. invited me uh, to uh, nominate two persons, mm. lawyers from my uh, commission, to join the uh, team of uh, you know report writing to finalize you know some of the amendments we suggested. Mm. Yes. Can you give us an idea as to some of the amend major amendments you have suggested? For, for example, so, mm. you must have come up with uh, some amendment to the issue of witness protection because you alluded to the fact mm. that it is a challenge. Yes, it is a and challenge. Then the so, uh, you know, to bear remember, firearms. I said, I said, I 
already met this thing uh, process. in process. Mm -hmm. So what uh, I was there, witness protection was not um, a, a part of it because it there is a bill, yeah. specific bill to that effect. So that one we didn't uh, consider it. Okay. But some of the uh, major uh, amendments suggested include uh, the fact that um, we need to uh, really uh, have a leverage to prosecute our cases before both state and the federal high court. Mm -hmm. As we are now, our act allows us to prosecute cases, uh, offenses under our act. Mm -hmm. Offenses under our we can we can you know prosecute other yes, uh, uh, offenses under other uh, you know laws, but all offenses under our acts are to be prosecuted before state high courts. And this is a very serious uh, uh, problem to us. A limitation. It, 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 it's a limitation indeed because um, one, our opera uh, you know operatives are not really protected, particularly uh, you know uh, lawyers. Mm. You go to a state prosecuting maybe a governor, a former governor of that state. The person, you know, um, uh, even presiding over that matter could have been his appointee mm -hmm. okay. and uh, before you know it uh, you know you mm -hmm. meet a very large you know crowd wow. uh, you know coming to support their former governor mm -hmm. so so uh, you know we are now um, uh, suggesting that um, that prohibition should be amended to allow us you know prosecute before states and the federal high court you know so we can alternate whenever we uh, want it um, another one which I also met that uh, was suggested long ago is actually the composition of uh, the board itself. The board of the ICPC? Board of the ICPC. Mm -hmm. um, uh, at the moment, uh, the board uh, you know, has a chairman and 12 other members. And the law is not uh, clear as to whether they are full part time uh, and um, what um, uh, we learned uh, uh, is that because of the number large number mm -hmm. in fact the law did not even make provision for the, the board members their own functions mm -hmm. generally you know maybe this one is mm -hmm. in charge of uh, this it is the discretion of the chairman to decide Whatever. who to what, do what what to assign <laughs> to a hand so it is just uh, plain like that so you have 12 uh, members oh. two from each geopolitical zone oh. and the chairman you know uh, in, in place so uh, uh, it makes the operation very very you know uh, difficult from what you know uh, I received because it is something that they have experimented. So what, what are you uh, proposing now? So what uh, 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 is proposed is that the number should be reduced to one per geopolitical, geopolitical zone instead of two, two, two. So to make it, uh, you know, seven, seven chairman and six, of them six, six others, and to also, you know, give them specific uh, functions. functions. Otherwise, the chairman, you know, will may, may arrogate everything yeah. onto himself. Exactly, yeah. Yes. Now looking at so the how how far has that gone? Okay, you said you are I said it already. Yeah. Reporting. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. the anti-corruption committee in the house will now report to the house at the plenary, house plenary, and yes. you you uh, go for second reading, yeah. and maybe third reading. Yes, if 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 this uh, things uh, you know sell through here. Yeah. Okay, now the in recent times, federal government uh, signed agreements across board with uh, international, uh, I mean with different countries, uh, trying to further the corruption war. How is the ICPC key mm. into that? Yes, um, actually uh, there is this issue of uh, mutual legal assistance, you know, uh, you know, Corruption is something that is n uh, now, uh, uh, you know, uh, it's a global p phenomena, and that uh, people launder money through various means, and they don't really keep them uh, in their own country. They send them uh, far away, abroad, maybe establishing factories, you know. Before you know it, 
you know they turn illegal uh, money into illegal money. Uh, uh, illegal money. Yeah. So as a result, you know, government now decided to enter into um, uh, you know mutual legal assistance. Uh, you know, enter in, in into bilateral agreements with some countries, such that uh, it can uh, easily apply for somebody to be extradited. You know, uh, or that country since it is mutual. You know, depending on the circumstance, but um, we actually, uh, you know, uh, benefit a lot from that. Um, uh, you know, but you know, as some of the, you know, uh, bills now are still before the National Assembly, we have not uh, yet applied for something formally uh, through that. Are you yes. worried about mm. the rising spate of uh, bank frauds? Mm. In, in, in you, you made reference to some of the uh, attempts you have made mm. to uh, contact banks mm. and get information. But uh, mm. these days it would seem reports of staff mm. of banks uh, defrauding uh, customers are on the rise. You see, um, uh, uh, I have to make it uh, you know, uh, clear that you know our own commission, uh, you know, uh, deals mostly with public sector mm. uh, corruption organizations. Yes, so um, EFCC is the yes, most appropriate, the, uh, yes, exactly. uh, you know, body for that, uh, you know, purpose. Mm. So uh, you know, actually, we've been receiving cases like that in our commission. Somebody. You know, uh, will just receive alert for him only for him to re realize that uh, a certain amount of money has been no, uh, you know, not taken, no, taken uh, you okay. know, out of his uh, you know, account. account. Yes, or maybe an account that remains uh, dormant for ages, and now used. some people will now no. use. It will, yeah, he will use it will uh, ask somebody to pay money into it mm -hmm. with you know uh, as, as an insider you know so they will now uh, i mean resuscitate you the know account. the dormant account the dormant and Eleven. find a way of so all these are financial crimes that uh, f uh, fall within the ambit of uh, efcc okay and that takes me to the level of synergy between uh, other uh, between anti-corruption agencies yes. how much of that do you have in the system yes actually i mean uh, we have very good um, you know interagency relationship we you know exchange petitions that are outside our mandates mm. so sometimes if we are investigating a petition and we realize that efcc is investigating same uh, we write to them if they confirm it, we now uh, transfer. Uh, you know, uh, transfer what we have, maybe available information we have to them, and they also do the same. Wow. And um, uh, at the moment, there is a committee headed by the, uh, you know, uh, His Excellency the Vice President. Um, that is, uh, you know, a committee, presidential committee on high profile cases. Mm -hmm. And this committee actually brought together all you know uh, the prosecution uh, agencies the oh. police uh, icpc fcc um dss uh to uh, actually collaborate such that you know uh, cases high profile cases can be prosecuted jointly yeah. so as i'm talking to you now we are prosecuting one case jointly with efcc okay. what's that case uh is the case of uh the former governor of Plateau State, uh, I think, Jonah Jang. Oh, I see. Okay. Yes. Okay. Nice. Uh, in a very sh short while, we will be running off. But mm -hmm. what does? How does ICPC see the clamor for anti-corruption tribunals? Mm -hmm. Will it fast track uh, you to have more mm -hmm. convictions? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, thank you very much. Um, actually. Uh, we support the establishment of a uh, you know, special tri you know, tribunal or s special the court. court. I remember um, I attended one um, uh, 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 criminal justice reform uh, you know, conference about two months ago. Um, and one of the issues that came up there, or the main theme of that discussion was whether we need 
special courts for corrupt, uh, corruption and financial uh, crime offenses. Um, I actually said we need uh, that because uh, apart from the fact that our law uh, provides that uh, you know state uh, chief uh, judges should pro uh, designate a court to deal with uh, you know uh, corruption uh, cases, the ACJA, that is Administrative Criminal Justice uh, Act 2015, has provided for day-to-day -day, uh, trial. Uh, trial of uh, you know cases generally so if we have a special court it means there will be speedy trial yet during that my uh, presentation i alluded to one thing that much as we subscribe to that but in as much as uh, lawyers you know uh, continue to employ you know delay tactics which is actually against our rules of professional conduct mm. There is no way that uh, court will succeed because you know you, you know imagine a case you know that uh, maybe prosecution had closed its case since 2016, but up to today no the defense no no the defense has yes. not opened its case yes. not to talk of uh, uh, going for judgment. Wow, mm. so. To round off now, how do you see ICPC in the next few years, mm -hmm. two years, three years, five years? Yes, um, my immediate uh, 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 plan for ICPC is to actually ensure that uh, we strengthen the preventive um, uh, mandates, the preventive uh, measures we are taking, because that is the only area where you have a very wide room for innovation. Uh, uh, system study, like the example of uh, this USSR uh, I gave, mm -hmm. is one of the major tools that will actually help in preventing corruption within the system. Um, so my plan is to actually start producing yearly uh, report of compliance uh, by MDS with the laws and extant uh, regulations and um, we intend to make it in such a way that uh, when an agency scores 70 percent on based on our rating we award certificate of uh, you know uh, full compliance when it scores something below that we give them a certificate of uh, partial compliance and when it scores very low, like maybe getting um, maybe less than 50 in our rating, then we ask the relevant uh, authority to uh, you know overhaul the agency because uh, to us is something irredeemable. How many system studies uh, do I'm you I'm have? I'm in sorry, place? maybe our time is up. Uh, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Dr. Musa uh, Osman yes. Abubakar, acting chairman of the ESP, uh, EFC, ICPC, yes. thank you so much for for coming to platform thank you and uh, the issues yeah. are really uh, much and we can't exhaust them in the 50 minutes oh, that we have for okay. for the program yeah. certainly okay. we'll call you again and okay. uh, uh, maybe by the time you begin this your uh, publication on mm. on the compliance nature and extent of mm. the ministries department and agencies it will be another platform again to, to yeah. bring you in certainly. and we see how agencies mm. have been doing full compliance, partial compliance, and no compliance at all. Yes. Thank you so much, sir, for coming. Thank you very much. Femi Okio, head of NTA's Judiciary Desk. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Uh, your time and your insights. Taiwo Adisa, political editor, Tribune Newspapers. Thank you once again Thank for you. always being there Thank for you us. Uh, Thank you very much. Uh, Platform has examined uh, the ICPC and the challenge of global corruption with the chairman, acting chairman of the ICPC, Dr. Musa Usman Abubakar, who uh, made the discussion very educative and uh, we had robust discussions. And of course, he told us that the ICPC from 2015 to date have made uh, secured 48 convictions and uh, lost about 11 of uh, cases that it hoped to have had convictions. He is also contemplating someday that the ICPC officers 
will bear arms and that way they will be more effective and in their uh, overall duties that's platform thank you for watching and muhammad kuda bye for now